Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be installing a new theme to Windows 10 which is going to make our Windows operating system look like this in the image you can see on the screen right now. First you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you need to go to the right hand side and press download and we want to just save that file. Once that's downloaded you can now scroll down and we need to install Ultra UX Theme Patcher. The link's just here, I will put the link in the description below as well. Once you're on this page you need to press Ultra UX Theme Patcher. Also make sure you, it supports the version that you're running on Windows as you can see here UX Theme Patcher is available for Windows 10, 1607 and 1703. Also, if we go back to the theme, this is only available here as well. As you can see, compatible only with Windows 10 and the first re-update, 1607 and Creators Update 1703. That's very important. You take note of that. To check the version of your Windows, all you need to do is click Start. Go to settings, then you need to go to system, and you're going to go to about, and it'll say just here where it says version 1703, which means I'm absolutely fine to do this theme. Right, once that's all finished downloading, you can now run the setup file, and we can go next, I accept, next, I agree, and as you can see it says not patched. We want to patch it by going install. It does set a system restore point, but you can do one just in case as a backup. Once that's finished installing, we need to now restart our machine by leaving it on reboot now and press finish. Right, once your computer's restarted, you now need to go to your downloads folder where you just saved that new Windows theme to. And we need to just right click it now and we want to go extract all. And we're just going to hit extract. Once you've extracted the theme, you now need to go in the theme folder. And remember I just said about the version of Windows? You need to copy which version of Windows you have. If you have the 1607 or the 1703. I've got the 1703 version of Windows. Which means I'm going to go into that folder now. I'm going to select all the files in there. Right click. We're going to go copy. And you now need to go to your C drive. We're now going to go to the Windows folder. And you need to scroll down if I just maximize that for you. And let's just actually bump this up a bit. How about that? Does that make it easier to see? I'm not too sure if that makes it easier to see for you. Let's go large icons. There we go. Right, you then need to go to resources. And once you're in resources, you need to go to the themes folder. And you can now right click and you can go paste. And we're just going to go continue. Once that's finished copying over, you can now double click either one of the themes. It's totally up to you which one you want to use. I'm just going to go with the first option. And we can now go open and it will set the theme to Windows. You can now scroll down and you can see both the themes are here. You can select either one of them. Obviously we just set the first one and if I minimize my settings page you'll notice now my Windows Explorer has changed and it's gone to this nice little dark looking Explorer which looks really really nice. The next step is to change the icons because we want our icons to look like they do in this image here. We now need to go across to the next link that's in the description below. If you click on that, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you need to click on the download button on the right hand side and we're going to go save. Once that's finished downloading, we're going to open up that folder and we're just going to right click and go extract all. Once that's finished extracting, we can now open up the folder. If I just minimize all this for a second and you'll see that we got a few files in here. If I just maximize that up and let's just go few and large icons so you can just see it a bit better. There we go. 
Right, the first step is we need to take ownership. By doing this, we need to double click on this add take ownership and we want to go run. This is basically adding a little registry key to our registry. We're now going to hit yes. And as you can see, the keys and values in, um, contained in blah, blah have been successfully added. That's absolutely fine. We can now hit OK. And if you want to remove that, you can just run the remove take ownership. Next, we need to open up another Windows Explorer. To do this, you can just right click in the bottom left hand corner and go File Explorer. Next, we need to go to our computer, this PC. We want to go to our C drive, Windows, and we now need to look for our System32 folder, which you can see right here. As you can see, there's a lot of folders and files in there again. We now need to scroll all the way down till we find a file which is called Imageries. If I keep scrolling down, it might actually be easier to search the folder in the right hand corner. If you just click in there and type in I M A G E and oh, it was there. Let's just carry on typing it in rs.dll and you'll see it there. We now need to right click this .dll and we want to press the take ownership and we want to just press yes. Basically we've just now taken ownership of that .dll which means we can now rename it. We're going to right click again now and we're going to go rename and we're just going to put at the end of it .original dot original and we're happy to change that we're going to go continue and we want to go yes and as you can see now the file extension has been changed to dot original now we need to go back to our folder in here where all our icons and stuff are and we need to right click on the imageries dot dll and we want to go on to copy this is basically the file that we just renamed but we're about to place it back into that folder. If we now go back to our system32 folder, we right click and we need to now go paste. Oh, we can't do that in the search day. You need to go back and we now need to go paste. And we want to go continue. And as you can see, we've just pasted that file in our system32. We next need to find SIP FLDR. Go back to the top right hand corner again where it says search and we're going to type in ZIPFLDR and as you can see it's right here. We're now going to right click this file again and we're going to do the same. We're going to rename it and go .original original and we're just going to go yes and continue. Okay, we did not, because I did not right click that file and take ownership of it, we got an error, which I forgot to do. If we right click and go take ownership first, then go yes. And now if we rename the file by right clicking and go rename and we type it in again, dot O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L and we go yes, continue, yes, there you go. As you can see, it's now renamed it successfully. We now need to go back to our folder with our icons in. And we want to do the same again, copying that file. And we want to go back to our System32 folder. And we want to right click and paste it in there. Like so. Right, once you've done all that, we now need to go back to our folder with our icons in. And we need to rename our refresh icons.ee. We need to right click it and we need to go where it's got the two E's. We need to put an X in between them and just hit enter and go yes. Once you've done that, we now need to right click and we need to go run as administrator and we want to go yes. And if you get this little message pop up saying you need to download .NET Framework, you can download that by clicking download which shouldn't take too long to do 
Right, once .NET Framework's finished downloading, you need to restart your computer. And once you've done that, you can now right-click again on Refresh Icons, and we can go Run as Administrator. We just need to go Yes, and we want to click on Refresh Icons. And our screen should go black for a second, and as you can see, straight away, our Recycle Bins Changed icon. And if we go to our Windows Explorer, you'll see that all your icons have now changed. And if I go to this PC, you can see them all there. And that is it. That is how you set up this theme. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more Computer Sluggish tutorials.